Hello everybody, this is Chris Geringer here, and I am um, doing this video as kind of the start of a video series, uh, I guess you could say. I, um, I've been thinking about doing something like this for uh, a while. Um, I've seen something online, um, this guy named Jarrett Grossman, um, if you come up on YouTube, he's, it's uh, Muscle Prodigy, uh, Prodigy P-O, uh, or P-R-O-D. I G Y, but uh, he has um, he has like daily. He's like a motivational speaker and kind of a life coach, I guess you could say. Um, he would call himself, and uh, he um, he uh, what he did is he and he's still in the middle of it. He started doing one video a day for an entire year. Um, some uh, mo mostly most uh, motivational videos. Um, so I I watched about half of them that he had done already and uh, kinda liked what he did a lot and stuff and um, and so I kinda wanted to do I guess something like that um, something else also is um, Chris Gethin he's a um, a guy in the fitness industry that I follow um, he had a um, 12 week trainer that had a video every day for it and so I think just something that has a daily video to it I really enjoy and so I'm going to um, try to do that and um, give you a little more detail on that. So if you just stick in here with me real quick. Um, in this, um, I guess a big point of this is um, for me to just kind of let you guys in a little bit. Um, I know for my family, um, they kind of, you know, I get the vibe, and, and correct me if I'm wrong here, I get the vibe that my family kind of thinks I'm kind of like the, the, the poster child of, of goodness, you know, I go to church, you know, I graduated high school, went to college, you know, I'm going to college, um, you know, kind of had some row bumps in college, but, you know, going to college, um, graduating college and kind of going further than, you know, most anybody in my family did, um, and so I'm kind of like the, you know, the, you know, high point of my family when people ask you know who's the special one in your family I assume people would say me I don't want to take that claim but just looking not nobody else in my family outside of my aunt Angel has completed a four year degree in college um, and so that's um, and so that's um, something about that um, also um, then also um, to my um, Christian friends whether it's Cedarville or whether at my church um, just to kind of let you guys in, um, this morning I told you guys um, I had been away from God um, for a while. Um, kind of fluctuated. Day there'd be better days and there'd be worse days, but overall it was kind of a overall low. Um, and then here I'd say in the past week, um, God has really done things in my life and really brought me back to Him, um, really helped me out there. And uh, and to my non-Christian friends. I want to say, um, I want to let you guys in too, um, and answer maybe even some questions um, about what you have maybe towards Christians, and then maybe even just towards life a little bit in general, because I think the Bible speaks well to things in life as well. Um, I, I don't have all the answers, I'm not going to claim to have all the answers, and there's some things I won't be able to answer, um, and... But every day, what I'm going to try to do is have a um, Bible verse or passage that um, I at least read. Even if I don't go any more depth into it, I at least read that um, passage. Um, and then also, um, especially from non-Christian friends, to look inside the life of a Christian to understand that Christians aren't perfect. Um, and the struggles we go through too. And um, especially if you don't live... Or not have a lot of Christian friends you might not know. Like it, you know, me living here at Cedarville in a Christian environment really, you know, you kind of get in your own little bubble. And then I know you also, uh, you know, I didn't become a Christian until I was 13. You get in your own little bubble when you're not a Christian too. Everybody gets in their own little bubbles. And, you know, they try to stay safe where they're at and what they're used to. Um, another reason I'm doing this is to stay accountable. Um, because some of the things I'm going to be doing on here is um, geared towards health and fitness um, for myself and then for others as well. Um, I'm going to be um, kind of held accountable by you guys as you'll see me every day and uh, and I'll be posting every day on you know how I've been doing with my diet, how I've been doing with my exercise and everything. Um, 
and uh, and so this really holds me accountable with that um, a lot. Um, and it definitely, um, I don't know how long I'm going to do this. Um, I want to sh I want to shoot for a year, but I know a lot of things can happen in a year. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shoot for the end of the semester. Um, so I graduate May 1st. All right, today is March 15th. So I'm going to go the rest of March and then all of April. We'll see where we're at at that point. Um, like I said, I will have a video a day. Um, I will post them on Facebook, um, and I will also post them to my YouTube page. And uh, So if you watch, maybe if you're on YouTube a little more than Facebook, I know I'm on YouTube more than Facebook. Like, YouTube's kind of a problem for me. I'm probably on it too much, but... but uh, yeah, um, subscribe to my channel. It's just Chris Geringer. Um, Geringer with one R. Not Geringer, like some of my friends like to say. Greg, Cody. But. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, I'm, I'm doing this a lot for me. Um, I think I need this just as much as other people might need to hear what I have to say. Um, and so. I'm not going to claim to be, like I said, I'm not going to claim to have all the answers. I'm not going to claim to be perfect. I'm going to take a lot of things from, like, things I've heard, um, people that are wiser than me. Um, uh, in Sunday school today, um, and over the past weeks, we've been over um, being a leader. And, uh, and a big thing that Andrew's um, had us focus on is to be a leader. First, you've got to be a follower. Um, there's nothing that you doing that hasn't been done before. I'm doing a daily video thing now. Why? Because other people did daily video things. I enjoyed them. I liked them. I think they're good. Um, good days and bad days. I'll have a video in. Um, it might be after I get off work, so it might be at one in the morning. I post it, and then you know before I go to bed that night. You know, depending on how late I'm at work, or it might be when I first get up in the morning. It'll see how my days go. But uh, I'm also holding accountable too that I will post a video every day. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, today's this is Sunday night, and so tomorrow's Monday. Um, this is going to be kind of just the introductory video. Um, tomorrow I'll start with day one video, and um, we'll see how things go from there. Um, if you guys have any questions for me that you would maybe like me to answer, um, serious questions. I, don't, I mean, I like to be funny, but I want this to be mostly serious. You know, ask me why the chicken crossed the road. I don't, I don't know because. It could. I don't know. Anyway, but um, just either uh, hit me up on Facebook, um, or you can text me the questions. Um, but if you hit me up on Facebook, I'll probably be more likely to answer them because I, I get a lot of texts from work and friends and stuff. So your question might end up getting lost. Um, and so, yeah. And that's where we're going to go. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow.